Buon appetito! Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Italian dishes. For this list, we're looking at iconic dishes that originate from one of the world's leading food specialists, Italy. We'll be ranking them based on their inventiveness, flavorsome combination of ingredients, worldwide popularity, and of course, their mouth-watering taste. So grab a knife, fork, and spoon, and without further ado, let's dig into our list. Number 10. Ossobuco. The crux of what I'm showing you today with the ossobuco is slow cooking. That's what it's all about. It's a braise, it's a stew. And it's also about using cheap cuts of meat. This Milanese specialty delivers the goods with a juicy, tender, cross-cut piece of meat and well-seasoned aroma to go. Ossobuco, meaning bone with a hole, refers to the bone marrow of the veal shank that's usually used in this dish. It's a piece of shin. Okay, so it's like your calf. So it's a very tough, hard-working muscle. It's got lots of sinew through it. And even though that's a young animal, if you fry that and you cook it, tough as old boots, impossible to chew. Taking hours to prepare, the meat is slowly braised in a broth comprised of vegetables, herbs, spices, and or wine. The meat falls off the bone, tastes incredibly juicy, and boasts an almost unbelievable flavor that is well worth the wait, and will have you going back for seconds. It's not only melt in your mouth, but is a wonderful choice for a main meal, whether you're having the modern version with tomatoes or the original version without. It's traditional, it's Italian, doesn't get any more classic and tasty than that. Number nine, panna cotta. It's easy to make and has a silky smooth texture that makes it one of the world's sexiest desserts. Translating into English as cooked cream, this wobbly treat of mouth-watering pudding boasts an outright delicious taste. Cream and sugar are carefully heated together, then combined with gelatin as a thickening agent. The dish itself boasts several possibilities depending on preference, so if you should want to flavor your cream with coffee, liqueur, or even vanilla, then go right for it. Its smooth texture makes for a well-rounded dessert, and it's a well-loved menu favorite all around the world. Commonly served with fruit, biscotti, sweet sauces, or syrup, the dish is as appealing to look at as it is to eat. Number eight, bruschetta. This is good. Mm -hmm. This dish takes toast bread to another level of gourmet delight. Its simplicity and combination of flavors has seen it become popular all over the world. Bread is grilled and topped with olive oil, garlic, and various toppings to preference, such as tomato, cheese, vegetables, and much more, with an optional amount of seasoning to give it that extra kick. While bruschetta is easy to make, its overpowering burst of zest from each bite sees it celebrated in many Italian restaurants and households as a common antipasto, or starter dish. It's generally a small serving, but that means it's easier to have seconds, thirds, and fourths. Plate up your bruschetta straight from the broiler and enjoy the summery taste of fresh basil and tomatoes all year long. Number 7. Carbonara. I'm in my happy place right now. Mmm, pesto. Mmm, carbonara. Great! Now I'm starving. Said to be a traditional Roman dish, carbonara sits itself quite comfortably among the best of the best of Italian pasta dishes, though unlike others, is not centered on a single type of pasta. It's a creamy meal that contains several combinations of ingredients and can include bacon, chicken, cheese, mushrooms, black pepper, onions, garlic, or vegetables, which are all fused together through the power of an egg or two. Despite being more commonly served with spaghetti, any kind of pasta form will perfectly complement the rest of your chosen ingredients in a carbonara. Talk about appetizing. And this is the real carbonara, the only one. Number six, risotto. Sure. Is this what I ordered? Yes, that is a risotto. Oh. It's a special recipe that my brother and I bring from Italy. It's delicious, I promise. It took so long, I thought you went all the way back to Italy to get it. Yes, I, <laughs> I know. This is one of those dishes with endless opportunities for culinary success, whether it's eaten as a starter, hunger-quenching main, or a sweet dessert. Rice is slowly cooked in a flavored base, which eventually amounts to a creamy texture when drained. There's no single way of flavoring this dish, which leaves the possibility of adding several ingredients of preference to help guarantee a satisfying end result. Italians endlessly cook their rice with this method, as it allows for the biggest punch of taste and a smooth texture from the rice grain, which in itself is a reward for anyone eating it. I want this dragon carrot risotto to become a person so that I can take it to Vegas and marry it. Number five. Tiramisu. While you ask me for this one and only favor, I will sit here and enjoy this very fine tiramisu. Oh, can I have a piece? Peter! Granted. Next. <laughs> oh, crap. Sink your teeth into a well-prepared slice of tiramisu, and no doubt you'll keep going back for more. This famous Italian dessert boasts a sweet combination of a mascarpone cheese mixture layered against Savoyardi biscuits also known as ladyfinger biscuits in English. These are soaked in coffee with sometimes a little hint of liqueur or marsala wine to go. 
the creamy topping can be lightly sprinkled with cocoa or chocolate, complementing the delicious combination of flavors throughout. It's coffee and cream all in one mouth-watering hit. So does anyone have a fork? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm eating tiramisu. Oh, the chocolate powder just went down my throat. I'm stopping now. Is this why you're calling me? No, 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 no. No. I'm calling you. <coughs> Number four, parmigiana. Eggplant parmesan. Thanks. Oh, already cut up? This Italian delight is notably among one of the oldest and most traditional Italian dishes on our list. The original parmigiana is customarily baked with eggplant as the main ingredient, then topped with cheese, Italian tomato sauce, and various vegetables throughout. The colorful dish is proof that a combination of meat and vegetables are a cook's match made in heaven. The parmigiana has also stood the test of time among modern variations of the dish, such as the well-loved chicken parmigiana. It's truly an original classic that we're awarding a spot to for boasting a delicious combination of ingredients all in one. Hey, what you packing, Simpson? Just my lunch. Chicken parm, meatball parm, eggplant parm, shishka parm, angel food parm, mugu guy parm. My wife can parm anything. Number three, spaghetti with meatballs. With your love, the one you'll find on the chant a man to hear. Among the most well known and universally served Italian dishes in the world, the appeal of long strings of pasta smothered in rich tomato sauce has seen it end up on countless menus worldwide. And when you thought it couldn't get any better, it does just that when perfectly complemented by juicy meatballs throughout. Delicious and simple to make, spaghetti always brings the family together. Go ahead and top it all off with as much cheese as you like, and then have fun wrapping it around your fork and eating it like a true Italian. Number two, lasagna. Amazing, so good. Several pasta sheets are folded between layers of rich minced meat sauce and fresh pieces of cheese to create a lasagna. This type of pasta is oven baked and allows you to add different ingredients or create several variations of the dish, including whatever meats, vegetables, seasonings, or cheeses you like to create a beautiful filling. Closely related to cannelloni, a cylinder-shaped pasta containing a filling, the perfectly prepared lasagna is a true winner, whether you decide to have a vegetarian or traditional meat version. If the need is there to satisfy your hunger with an appetizing meal, then lasagna is the way to go. Once again, my life has been saved by the miracle of lasagna. Before we order up our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Easy arancini, a delicious tempting treat that's great for leftovers and cooks in under 10 minutes. Right ingredients. Mm -hmm. Mm. Right temperature. Yes. Don't get too much air in. Yes, yes. Perfect yes. gelato. Yes. Easy. No. 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 <laughs> and then we are ready to fill this beautiful uh, cannoli. And you want to make sure that the hole is big enough for the glazed orange or lemon. After kneading the dough, put it into a large pastry bag and squeeze the gnocchi straight into the boiling water, cutting it into one inch pieces as you squeeze. It's very healthy. Uh, there's a lot of protein in there, it's uh, garlic, which is excellent for you, extra virgin olive oil, uh, basil, um, and tomatoes, which tomatoes are very, also very good for you. Number one, pizza. It's the ultimate classic that people just keep going back to, and we really can't blame them. Roll out your dough and top it with virtually whatever endless options you'd like. Tomato sauce, cheese, meat, vegetables, seasonings, seafood, and so much more. There is no right or wrong way to prepare a pizza, making it fun to make and even better to eat. Directly related to the calzone, which is the folded and enclosed version, this dish can be savory or sweet and is among the best-selling foods in the world. I'm in love. I'm having a relationship with my pizza. Do you agree with our list? Which Italian dish is your favorite? This is how you make Ferrucini Alfredo. For more delicious top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. And buon appetito.